Welcome to March Motors Sports and Farming Channel. This video is because of a few unfortunate things that uh, broke down on me with, with this plow last time I was using it, which which was as I record this, it was it was just yesterday, but it'd be more like three days when. When you, once you see this video, uh, so one thing that happened is that because the ground is so hard this year, we had the whole moldboarding assembly could come off of this fourth bottom here. We were able to find that, and I'll, I'll show you. I'll show that to you at the end of the video here. But I'd, as I was cleaning stuff off, we had we had this break here, so they'll need to be welded or plated or whatever back together. And then the reason that, that you're seeing the back end like it is is because of stuff that broke here that, that holds that all together. And there's one here, one here. This part will have to be straightened and welded back together. And, and then there's one there. I think those, I think those two go together, and are and are held by that bolt there. Yeah, the, this whole mechanism that I'm showing you here, the last few broken things, are are how you can set the width on on this plow. You know, as far as how, how wide or narrow of a swath you want it to take. And then, and then just when I got up here, that happened. You know, somehow the bearings must have gave out and then that tire there, which is supposed to be on, be, be there, you know, is laying on the ground. Or rather than sitting on that spindle there, so I mean it's it's hard to say at this point if all this stuff will be fixed by by the time this video goes up or or not. Yeah, that some, some of some of the things that that looks that might look simple can you know can end up taking a fair amount of time to do so. And most most of it, and like all, all the broken places that need to be welded are you know. Not really, not really something we're able to do ourselves, you know. We'll have to get a helping hand with that one. But I'll have to get some new hardware to, to mount that bottom assembly back on that shank there. And I'll have to figure out what, what's all needed back here to so that this tire stays on that spindle, so probably bearings and there might be a couple of other things involved with that. And like I say, we'll, we'll have to 
look into that and see what's all needed there. And I'd rather be doing a video of moving over to of you know being done with with this ground here and, and moving over to the other farm and working on that but right now we can and that's basically the the purpose of of this video too is you know farming isn't necessarily all roses you know things do break once in a while and this one's pretty unfortunate since as of now, we're, we're within reach of being able to get, get this done here and move over to the other farm that I have to do yet. But, you know, to, to give you an idea of what, what that, what these broken pieces are supposed to do, you know, so these first four bottoms, are, are facing one way and that the back four are facing another way you know that, that's what that does is you know the hydraulic cylinder here can, controls that width and, and, then, and then these pieces all hold that all together and, you know and it, it, so, so when so when you so that the, how we have a swath you want it to take, everything stays there. So And like I said, I'll I'll give you a little bit of footage of of that of that uh, plow bottom assembly, you know, that that we found at the end of the at the end of this video here. We were actually pretty lucky with that, you know. That, that came off at, as I was making a turn, and that, you know, you know, had halfway through the swath or something like like what normally happens. Get this fixed as, as soon as we can. You know? So with that, I thank you guys for watching these videos. That's certainly appreciated. Hope you guys enjoyed it and found it a little educational as well. For those of you that aren't very familiar with farming and the equipment involved and whatnot. Be sure to click on the like button, and if you have any, be sure to click, click on that subscribe button. Once you're subscribed, then be sure to click on the bell. You'll be notified whenever a new video is posted. Be sure to follow Mark's Motorsports and Farming Channel on Facebook as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.